Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. Right, we join Lady Kukoska, who is now heading towards the castle. You can see this gigantic aqueduct, which you can see from the jeweler, and this sort of angry grizzly man who's being angry and grizzly. He needs a bit of a slap. A love tap, as they call it in uh, my native Laudron. Right. Love trap these uh, testicular fellows, and then uh, basically head the right way. Slap! Right. There's a ring round here, which if you get early is a bit more useful than if you get it later, but still. Which is another ring of life. A nice little trick to do, actually. Hello, fellow ghost. Is if you don't want to lose your human form, because let's be honest, it's kind of irritating. What you can basically do is keep swapping in and out life rings. And constantly not, well, not die. Kind of useful. God, sorry. I always drink coke before I start a set, and I'm always really gassy in the middle of it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's horrible. Just stop drinking Coke. Or in Pepsi Max in this case, actually, if uh, anyone from Pepsi wants to uh, <clears throat> give me some Pepsi Max that I could uh, sell to all of you. No? No! Alright then. Ah, yes. The Flexile Sentry. Good to see you again, fellow. Ow. I would say he's just as crap as he was before, but he's, uh, he's a bit more irritating than he was before, if anything. What, what I need to do is get him to go so I can... Oh, he doesn't follow us. Alright, we'll deal with Testiculo over here. And then we'll come deal with this man. Um, he's got less health than he did in his boss form, but he's still kind of annoying. If a bit crap, when you're paying attention. Ow. Oh, whatever. Dead. Ugh. I don't need to worry too much about Estus Flasks. This next section can be a little bit of a bastard though, and uh, I didn't burn my dust, did I? I've got some sublime bone dust, which I did not burn because I am stupid. Stupid, stupid man who doesn't like having health in Dark Souls games because he's an idiot. Nevertheless, this next section can be a real bugger because I've got to do this, uh, do this shit with, uh, without a shield. Once again, interesting, uh, interesting pillars and artwork around here, which unfortunately you probably can't see very well in the video. But, I imagine someone's got some high-res shots of this on the internet, and I thoroughly recommend you all have a look. It seems to tell the tale of, uh, the beginnings of, uh, Drang Lake, I guess? Beast, yeah. Um, possibly some of the beginnings of Lordran? Because I still believe these, the two places are related, without law lawing too hard, I haven't... I just, from what I assume from the game, is that Drang Lake has been built upon Lordran. But that's just uh, my theory, like theory of an F. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, we need to head to the castle, or Castle, as uh, Goldhawk would call it. Speaking of, I probably need to talk to Kiko about that. Oh yeah, the burly man over here. Should uh, smack him in the gabber, like I suppose, before we continue. How angry is this man? Oh, it's reasonably angry. There we go. Can I uh, smack you again in the gabber, sir? One. Ugh. This guy's not having much luck as this uh, fellow partner's work. There we go. He's dead now, though. And he dropped the lance, which is not what he was using. Alright. I always find that really strange. He drops the lance, but he was using a sword. I question the shit, but, uh, you know. It's magic, bitch. I ain't got to explain shit. This is where Dark Souls 2 geography always, like, weirds me out somewhat. So we're basically running alongside the aqueduct, and we're going up a small flight of stairs. Oh, uh, so the weather's changed, which I can accept, because it probably just, you know, it's raining. Rain happens. This is fancy England. It probably would be happening all the bloody time. Summer doesn't mean shit to the weather. Yeah, so these guys are obnoxious, to say the least. And they're also very, very quick. However, with the power of failure, we can, of course, not really achieve anything. We will, however, get this man down here. Or not. You want to, uh... Whatever. Doink. This is why Mr. Halloween went and bought a shitload of throwing knives, so he could cheese a load of stuff when it got really annoying. Well, I say cheese. Oh, bollocks. It's not really cheesing, I suppose. It's, uh, more tactical playstyle. Bollocks to you. Right, that's one down. Ugh, 
bollocks. Oh, he jumps down. That's unfortunate. What the hell? Does he put his crossbow in his friggin' pocket or something? <laughs> Punching armor till he dies. That's how hardcore Lady Kiko is. She takes absolutely no shit from anybody at all. I like to think while saying something really witty, like, SMASHING when smashing someone's head in, or, you know, I don't know, it's like probably a little bit cooler than that. Let's go with smashing. SMASHING! There we are, Drang Lake Castle. Looks kinda cool. I, I like the look of it. It doesn't look quite as impressive as Anal Rodeo does. <laughs> Sorry, Anal Londo. Like, Anal Rodeo is a bad habit, shouldn't call it that. Um. <laughs> Fine, you run away from me then, you little bastard. Not like I wanted your souls anyway, Babaka. Ugh, dick. Oh well, should use a sword. Yeah, so welcome to Drang Lake Castle. Enjoy your stay. The castle is isolated, but nonetheless, you must forge on to bring an end to your journey and mine. That's what she says. Yep. This place is impressive looking. It's pissing it down, and I always wonder where Medulla is, and I think it's somewhere over there, considering where you see. Stranglet Castle from, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Well, I mean you can't see it from here, but which is odd. But there you go. Uh yeah, this next section. Full of bloodstones for a reason. And I'm not entirely sure I can do this very easily with the punching. But we shall see. Is that something I know heard though? Mm. That goes through the statues, what a crock of shit. I ain't statues for much longer, let's put that way. Right. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> That's not going very well at all. It will probably not surprise you to hear that these guys uh, can take a lot of damage. Whoop. Again, use what you have to your advantage. Like, especially if you're melee, you've really got to, you know. These guys are big, dumb, and stupid with big, dumb, and stupid shields. You've got to really uh, do what you can to. Ow. Well, that went badly. If you can get one of them down, at the very least. Ooh. Next one. That one? They're walking away. Oh, we must have hit their sort of drop off point. Alright, wasn't so bad. Let's back off somewhat. I mean, 2v1 is always going to be a bit of a rough fight. Especially when these guys do not have any real poise damage. And you can't really punch an elephant in the ass. Not really going to bother him. Uh, damn it. That was annoying. That's one of those situations where in IRL you wouldn't be a significant disadvantage because you would adapt that fucker out instead of missing. Look at he's just grumbling at me. Whatever. Smack him in the bloody gabber like. Nice! Mastodon Halibird. Handy. Okay, this next section can be a little bit hairy, which is why we're having a shield out. Um, it can also be extremely quick if we do this right. So... Bear in mind, do this right, slash Harry. Right, so we need this wanker over here. Come here, you. Toss pot. Over here, toss pot. Ta. Then, you need to come this way, mate. We gotta kill them close to the golems. So the souls don't come to us, they go to them. Weird, I know, but whatever, just roll it. This is how the uh, castle operates. Shit be soul powered. Which uh, sounds really cool, like a James Brown album or something. But, uh, you know. Of course, the other downside of this is that these assholes endlessly spawn until we open the gates, which means we have to deal with them. Luckily, they're kind of crap. Why is the door not opening, sir? Mr. Slow Golem. Seriously, guys, like, medieval fancy people are so shit at designing things, like switches. Okay? If I was a medieval fancy king, man. First thing I design, harness the power of electricity. Bollocks using a soul power? This place always rains. It probably thunders and lightnings around here. Use the lightning. Problem solved. But no, we gotta do this cool shit. Anyway. Who are you? That's rude. I'm me. 
This Oops, sorry. Is the domain of King Vendrick. Is your trespass intention? Not really trespass, more of visiting, passing through, uh, holiday, His vacation. Highness. Where has he gone? I don't know. That's what I'm here to find out. Uh, he just keeps talking. You are a guest of our castle. Oh, thank you. I am the Chancellor, Bellad. Do you seek an audience with my lord, King Vendrick? Uh, yes. His Highness is absent. Oh. My lord, the king has... The queen has taken him. The queen has taken him where? My lord made magnificent findings on soul. No, no, he didn't. He made shitty doors. Let's be honest. The ages, he vanquished four great ones and built this kingdom upon their souls. Oh, yeah, because that always works out. Our king has watched over this land since ages long, long ago. King Vendrick. We must fight back, or the giants will take Dranglake. To be fair to King Vendrick, he was actually a nice guy, did some shit, and got stuff done. Um, building things upon soul power, like I said, either sounds like a really cool CD by James Brown, or alternatively, uh, it sounds like a really dodgy way to build your kingdom. I mean, I personally prefer bricks, but whatever, if you want to build your kingdom on the foundation of the souls, that's your business. A dear queen, a woman of unparalleled beauty, long ago... Queen came to us alone from a faraway land. Seems legit. She warned our lord of the looming threat across the seas of the giants. The king crossed the ocean and defeated the giants with the queen at his side. You mean basically they started shit, didn't you? That's what you mean there. The king commandeered their power and created the golems with the golems. The king please. created this castle to celebrate victory and to show his love, his gratitude to his queen. The queen brought peace to this land and to her king. A peace so deep, it was like the dark. Hint, hint. Is this some sort of a dream? Where am I? Yeah, and then now, blah, 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 he forgets who we are. And we can say, okay. hello. Anyway, learn gesture. Uh, buy items, which, uh, nothing particularly we need. That's quite cool, but not necessary. Um, eh, interesting, but again, not particularly needed. Well, those aren't bad if you ever need some. Anyway. Sorry. Thank you. This is the throne room. It's nice in here. Someone come back in here on New Game Plus. Let me know how it goes. That's all I should say on the matter. Right. Well, onwards. We got a little bit of ground to cover. Uh, nothing too terrible for the time being. Um, uh, which way do you want to go? The other way, probably. You can hear some souls. We're not far from a bonfire, you see. Uh, however, first, we've got to get past these knobs. They're not actually that bad to deal with. If you sword and board them, same with any of these kind of knobs, you can backstab them. But they can take an awful lot of punishment. And since uh, this is a game about dishing out punishment, let's dish out some goddamn punishment. Uh, that's not what I really wanted to do. Ooh, look. Looks like knob number two has joined the fray. Ugh! Let's punch him in the ass. Okay, Lady Kiko, don't punch him in the ass. Punch me in the ass. <laughs> Ugh, ah, come on, pooper. That's fine. Ugh. These guys are annoying more than dangerous, I'd say. There's a few of them. We don't like. We don't really deal with that many of them. And also, weirdly, uh, oh hello. Well, this could go badly wrong. Pardon me, sir. We don't want to go too far back because we'll end up aggroing the next group, which would be problematic. What well, was nasty? Ugh, much easier with a shield, I can tell you that. Alright. To infinity and beyond! <coughs> this looks nasty, but isn't. Weirdly. Now, I'm going to show you kind of a shorter way of doing this. There's a lot of doors to open here that are have lots of cool goodies behind them that we're not going to do right now. 
it will make a lot more sense to you all in a minute. Right, um, this section can be really, really unpleasant or really, really easy depending on how you do it. Um, we're going to sort and board this bit. Now what you want to do is carefully activate these guys. Now this is a bit of a gimmick of the uh, castle in general. Now what we want to do is preferably kill one of them. Ugh. So this bit can be a little bit rough if you don't... Ugh. I don't really flinch that much. No, damn, 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 damn. Got brazzard to death. I feel I should explain that. Brazzard, I've been poked with sticks till I died. God, yeah. Many sticks. Died. Yeah. Just roll with it. Um, so, I, I did. Uh, yeah. Preferably want to finish one of these guys off sooner rather than later, but. If you have a better weapon here than I do, you can flinch these guys a bit easier, but... I don't care who, I just want one of them to die, please. Oh shit, I'm gonna die again. <sighs> I got completely locked there, I couldn't do a thing, because of my stamina bar. Oh dear. 